Morning, Al Ingalls here, or is it afternoon? Al Ingalls here at pressure-free.com. And do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? What do you notice? I mean, sometimes we don't notice it until it moves. Like it blends in with this grass so amazingly. And then, is it going to move? Hello, baby. I might not have noticed this little fellow if I hadn't stopped. I stopped because I noticed not only all the birds singing all around me. Right now there are chickadees. Uh, I should probably take off my headphones. But I, I heard bells ringing from two different churches. Must be noon, I'm guessing. And all these bells were ringing. I'm way out in a field in Blanford, and I'm hearing church bells of a couple of different churches nearby. And then I see this little fellow who I probably wouldn't have noticed had not stopped. I might have actually stepped on him because he was on the path. And then he came over here into this dead, dry grass where he just blends in so well. So let me turn this around and let's have a little talk this morning. So uh, what do bells ringing mean to you? When you hear bells ringing, what does that mean mean to you? I, I, I literally, I stopped. <laughs> And I thought, there's bells over here. There's bells over here. There's, there's bells ringing. And it really made me pause for a moment. I thought of For Whom the Bell Tolls, the Hemingway book. Did you read that in high school? I thought about that. Um, I thought about bells ringing to signify what time it is. Like, it's time to go inside. It's time to eat lunch. <laughs> factory, factory bells would go off. There's the bell in school telling you to change classes. Um, you know, bells ringing. So uh, what do bells mean for you? These bells, when I heard them ringing, I just stopped and I couldn't, I couldn't help but smile. I just got this really beautiful feeling of the sound of bells. Um, I went to the University of Michigan where the carillon would go off and tell you, basically tell you what time it is. You didn't have to wear a watch. You could tell what time it was from the carillon. Um, and then, then it would sometimes be played. The carillon would be played um, and pieces of music would come out. Pentwater, Michigan, there's a carillon and someone plays the carillon and you get to hear beautiful music. Sometimes they play the Beatles out of the church. It's hilarious. <laughs> they play, I guess, whatever they're thinking of. So bells are really beautiful. To me, it's like a wake up bell. That's what these bells were for me today. These bells were a wake-up bell for me that I need to do a better job. I need to be do a better job at getting pressure-free out to more people in the world. Uh, right now, I don't see anybody on here. So, like, hello, world. <laughs> I, need to get, I need to do a better job. There's actually no one watching right now. So, if you see this later on the replay, thank you so much. Um, this is what, I, what, what I've created here. This method, the pressure-free method, is, is so far beyond anything I could have ever imagined for people. I got messages this week from clients sharing with me what's happening for them. And it, it would make you cry to see what's happening for people. Students who've been failing classes due to COVID and lack of being in class. Um, having incredible progress in just a week's time, just a week's time of stopping the release of stress hormones. That's what we do here at Pressure Free, and it is life transforming mentally and physically. Your brain can finally work. In fact, I feel like there's this huge brain trust that is locked in stress right now. Oh, there's some more bells. I think that's the little school bell, but there's no one in school today because can see the parking lot's empty over here it's spring break but the bells are still ringing even though it's spring break there's not there's a couple cars down low here but there's no cars up by the church or the school but the bells are still ringing what does that tell you <laughs> it's like when a, a tree falls in a forest if nobody hears it is it real oh, i just heard the bells they're real <laughs> those geese heard the bells <laughs> um so yeah, I have a wake up call. This bell, this bell ringing, all these birds, all of it is a wake up call for me. 
So pressure free is going to change. It's going to change starting right now. Um, this is what I believe. I'm going to share a belief statement right here. First of all, seeing that little toad also told me that the little toad matters. Children matter. Children matter. People matter. People who feel, feel stuck and small and crushed by stress matter. They matter. People who are on the edge matter. I believe that. I believe there's so much unnecessary suffering and pressure free is an answer for pretty much every human because it's those stress hormones and all of us humans, we, we release these stress hormones. Oh, now there's a little fish. I'm seeing all the little things now. Um, pressure free, ma pressure free helps every little person. <laughs> So the little things matter. The small triggers are just as impactful to your body as the big ones. So I believe that this human technology, this pressure-free method, needs to get in the hands of everybody I can get it in the hands of. Entire schools, entire school districts, entire college campuses, hospital communities, like entire hospital communities. What if when you got out of surgery, you got some sort of file or something that showed you showed you how you could heal twice as fast from your surgery <laughs> i mean wouldn't that be amazing <laughs> oops i know it's kind of probably hard to hear there's a lot of wind out here the wind is waking me up too so i just am uh to know i'm really filled with a passion this morning that um Something new's got to happen here. Out. And whoops, I don't know if that works. I hope you can still hear me. I could probably check and see if you can still hear me. I don't even know how to do that sound. Well, let's see. Hopefully, it's all working. <laughs> so, the small things matter. That's my big takeaway as I'm out here. The bells are ringing. What's your wake up bell? What's it telling you? That maybe you need to step up and do a little differently or more thoroughly or change it up. So I have designed group programs since 2010. Like I can go back in my old computer and find huge, huge files of, of this creation of these beautiful group programs for entire schools. And I, when I say entire schools, I mean from the custodian's office to the boardroom. Like everyone gets a pressure-free experience. Everyone deserves one. Everyone deserves to reduce mental and physical suffering. Everyone deserves to let their mind be so, un unlock their genius, like their pure genius. The only reason a child doesn't do well at school is the reason stress hormones. It's like the only real reason. You can factor in nutrition too, certainly. But the number one reason is the release of stress hormones. I watch it happen, student after student, <laughs> and adults too. It's just incredible. When we get to adults, we've got years and years of habits of reaction, decades, if you will, that have caused chronic disease, mentally and physically. So there, we're unpacking a lot. And I'm not going to say that it takes an adult longer because it really just depends on how stress has affected you. And that's the thing is I dive into the science of psychology as I read. I read my son's textbooks from Columbia. <laughs> as I read, um, I really agree with certain people that say it's so subjective. It really is. You can read what happens to someone when they're when they trigger the social response in a textbook, but I'm telling you, I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of people privately. It's so unique and different for each person. So that's what's cool about the pressure-free method is I've built so many tools, no matter what you feel, what you experience, I know I've created a tool that can help you because I've watched it happen over and over again. So I don't know, that's my muse for you today. I'd love to know from you like help me understand what you need help with. Maybe you don't want to put it in a comment, so put it in a private message to me, but how can I be of service and help to you?
How can I be of service and help to the people you care about who you know are struggling? You know, I would love your input to help me better design what I do, really dig into it, and um, and make pressure-free living the thing that, that helps people all over the world, all over the globe. <laughs> so enjoy. Beautiful, beautiful day.